encourage you to use your Van Cleves book. It is a great resource. Take it with you into class. Keep your life simple. This week, um, while the experiment is really simple, it helps to set the stage for our purpose in the time of science and our purpose is to take them through the scientific method. So what do you think we'll find when we open the bean? What do you think the purposes of those parts would be? Um, so taking them through the, the parts, the steps of the scientific method, but really, um, most importantly, I think, improving their skills of observation. So how do we improve their skills of observation? I think three main areas come to my mind and we wanna model these for our parents. So our parents can start asking themselves and um, how to do this at home and to model for their students and to implement it in the other areas of their homeschool. So one of the ways is to ask questions because you have to observe and be thinking about something in order to have a question about it. I recommend you can even just write who, what, when, where, why, and how up on your whiteboard in the science room and have the students be thinking of those kinds of questions. Now, remember, our purpose here isn't to make them dialectic. The purpose is to model for them a dialectic process. So we might not really get a lot of who, what, when, where, why questions from them. We might have to bring those to help get their wheels turning in the right direction, and that is okay. It is okay to model for them and encourage them so that they can then take it on themselves. And it might be, it might be half a year before they do that, or they might catch on right away. Depends on the age and maturity of the students in your class. The other element in improving our observation skills is using all of our different senses. A lot of times we think of observation as what do we observe with our eyes, but observing with our hands and our senses, wow, it's really smooth. I wonder why it's smooth. Uh, for in cycle or in week two, there's gonna be observing with our um, touch, but also maybe with our ears and hearing the vibrations. Um, observing with our sense of smell in week four or five, week five, with the, or week four, I can't remember, but with the egg experiment, which I'll be doing a video on shortly. So using the senses to really help them improve their sense of observation. And finally, sketching. Drawing and trying to imitate what they see causes them to look in a much different way. I also want to encourage you to have them use their oils. Most of the students on our campus have been through CC before, so even if you have science before you have art this first week, talking about oils will make sense to most of our students. So encourage them throughout the year to be using their oils here in science in their drawings, to be looking at each um, thing that they're trying to sketch in its most simplest components, straight line, curved lines, dots, angle lines, um, circles. So that is my encouragement to you. I hope this was helpful and I will see you on Friday.